Hey everyone, me Kevin here. Well, there has been a lot of new FUD around Tesla. And in this video, we're going to break down, is it true? Is there merit to this? Are Teslas some of the most accident or incident prone vehicles on the road? According to LendingTree, the answer to that is yes. This is a story that we have fully cited out at ehack.com. So if you have not yet gone there, go to ehack.com. You can see all of it, but let's break down some of the conclusions. First, let's go ahead and grab the actual lending tree piece on this. So in the lending tree argument, we see that lending tree, which is a website that collects or provides auto quotes for lending as well as insurance, we find that they suggest Ram drivers had 32.9 driving incidents per 1000 drivers, but Tesla's had the highest rate of accidents of 23.54 accidents per 1000 drivers. Incidents could include things like tickets or violations related to the car and their methodology for incidents versus accidents isn't perfect. I think there's a lot to be desired on this, but there are two fatal flaws that lending tree does not adjust for. And we've got to talk about this because in this article, we see very clearly when we sort by incidents that Ram is follow is, is right before Tesla and then Subaru, Volkswagen, Mazda, BMW in terms of the most incident prone vehicles and then Tesla's being the most accident prone per lending tree. And of course, this has a lot of bears and Tesla Q very excited that finally they could be vindicated that Tesla's are super dangerous and bulls are saying, wait a minute, something has to be rigged. Something has to be missing here. And I believe there are two critical pieces missing here. And we've got both of those broken down on eHack. So let's consider what we've got written here. First, the most important thing that I believe when we start analyzing accidents is we have to consider sex and age adjustments. Consider the following facts. Lending Tree cites Mercury as their safest car, but Per true car, Mercury appeals to some of the oldest drivers. In fact, it is the third oldest car make driven with an average age of 57.3, but they're so high on this average that they're next to people who drive Buicks and Lincolns. That's a very different demographic than somebody who drives a Tesla. Now data for age is not perfect when it comes to Tesla, but per the insurance savings app, Jerry, 70% of Tesla drivers are 34 years old. And that's sort of an average. Hedges, an analytic firm, sees the Model 3 ownership with an average age of 51. Now the data isn't perfect, but it clearly skews a lot younger than Lincoln's and Buick's. And Cox maybe gives us the most clear data for buyers of Tesla's. Buyers of Tesla's skew heavily between 25 to 44 years old. But Tesla's are not just a younger demographic, which I want you to start thinking about what that could mean for car accidents. They're also predominantly driven by men. 71% of Model S's and X's are driven by males. 84% of Model 3s are driven by males. Yet males make up just 49% of registered drivers. Cox Automotive sees about 1.7 male drivers of a Tesla for every single female driver. And what does that mean? Well, unfortunately, males and younger people are unfortunately a lot more likely to be involved in an accident, injury, or incident, or fatality. In fact, the top group for automotive related deaths is 25 to 34 years old. It is one of the most popular groups for Tesla drivers. Also, per this Statista chart, males outnumber females in fatal accidents by a ratio of about three to one. That means for every three fatal accidents where men die, you get one woman dying. So clearly there is a massive adjustment factor that needs to be made for Tesla's, which LendingTree did not mention once. 
in the entire Lending Tree piece, there is not a single mention or reference to age or sex. Both of these a fatal flaw in their study. I believe that if we adjust for age and sex, we would see numbers that much more align with the data that we see from full self-driving statistics and National Highway Safety and Transportation Board rankings that show Teslas as some of the safest vehicles that exist. So unfortunately, without an age and sex adjustment, I can't trust this lending tree information. Unfortunately though, for Elon Musk and Tesla, the mainstream media eats this stuff up. If you now search Google for Tesla accidents or Tesla safety, you are going to get bombarded with headlines, including headlines on CNBC.com, Forbes, Electric, Wall Street Journal, you name it, talking about how Tesla drivers have the highest accident rate despite autopilot claims. So what you have are essentially mainstream media organizations trying to discredit Elon Musk's autopilot claims using an unadjusted and flawed data set. That's my take. If you found this perspective helpful, consider subscribing. Check out ehack.com for more information. Thanks for watching. Bye. Why not advertise these things that you told us here? I feel like nobody else knows about this. We'll, we'll try a little advertising and see how it goes. Congratulations, man. You have done so much. People love you. People look up to you. Kevin Pafrath there, financial analyst and YouTuber. Meet Kevin. Always great to get your take. Even though I'm a licensed financial advisor, real estate broker, and becoming a stockbroker, this video is neither personalized financial advice nor real estate advice for you. It is not tax, legal, or otherwise personalized advice tailored to you. This video provides generalized perspective, information, and commentary. Any third-party content I show should not be deemed endorsed by me. This video is not and shall never be deemed reasonably sufficient information for the purpose of evaluating a security or investment decision. Any links or promoted products are either paid affiliations or products or services which we may benefit from. I personally operate and actively manage ETF and hold long positions in various securities, potentially including those mentioned in this video. However, I have no relationship to any issuers other than HouseHack, nor am I presently acting as a market maker.